Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. I'm Isaiah Soyu, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use layer blending modes in Photoshop. <laughs> Before we start, I want to mention that all my social media is in the description, so go check that out if you want to. Anyways, let's get started. I have two logos here. First, a Twitter logo that's black on white, and I have another logo that's white on black. And so basically, both multiply and screen are reversed of each other. So screen is uh, the reverse of multiply. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Uh, this is really good for black and white logos. So instead of like erasing and trying to get the perfect edges or selecting all this and um, just wasting a bit of your time doing that and masking or whatever, there's actually a lot easier of a way to do this. You can actually go up to the layers. You can go down where it says normal and go down to multiply. And now what Multiply does is it selects only the darkest areas of the image. So the darkest area is the logo. All right, so now I'm going to go to my white on um, black layer. And now I'm going to go down to screen. Like I said, it's inverse. So it only sh screen only sh chooses the uh, whitest parts of the image. Let's go to example two. So these two images are light streaks I made, inverted. The first one here is black on white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to multiply. And as you can see, only the dark parts show. And that's because we're on multiply. So now I'm going to go to the black one. So I'm going to go to the blending modes and go down to screen. So hopefully you understand multiply and screen better. Comment if you want more tutorials like this. Um, I could do some more of the blending modes if you would like. Also, I plan on getting a um, manipulation video out in the next week or so. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.